We're out here at Sea Otter Classic checking out all the latest mountain bike tech. And as you know, it's the first round of the UCI Downhill Mountain Bike World Cup coming up this weekend. So we thought we'd take you through some of the coolest and most impressive 29 inch wheel downhill bikes there are. So this is the new, well it's actually a prototype bike at this stage, still in development, Da Vinci Wilson 29er. So it's an alloy front end, it's got a carbon back end on here and it's got that aluminium chain stays down the bottom here. Running just over 200 mil of rear wheel travel currently, it's got the new boxer up on the front. Got those new flat crowns so you can really tweak the front end position there. It's got a new debonair spring on that and it's got the new damper inside there with that high speed and low speed independent compression damping adjustment. Really, really nice bit of kit. And of course, a bit of nod to the old original boxers being boxer red. So just down here under the bottom bracket show, you've got a custom made carbon fibre bash guard here just to keep the frame protected from all those knocks. And something I can see from my side here is that made in Canada stamp. It's really nice, it's like still made in Canada. Da Vinci's always been that way. Great to see them still doing that. And of course, it's in development still. So we might see something later this year, but check how good this thing is. Just absolutely beautiful. No trip to Sea Otter would be complete without a trip to the intent stand. Look at this, the M29, there's only 15 of these available worldwide, not including the team race bikes, but there's 15 available for people to buy. Full carbon, some of the nicest paintwork you've ever seen, and look at that back end on there. Absolutely amazing, so intricate with that short link that's tucked in on the underneath there, that's got the suspension refined by Jeff Steber in conjunction with Cesar Rojo of Uno Bikes. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so this is it. This is the new Kona operated downhill bike. As you can see, it's 29 inch wheels on this one, but it will also take 27 and a half inch wheels. It's got adjustable chainstays out back. The thing I really like on it, it's got adjustable reach up front. And we do know that Conor Fearon's going to be racing this at the first World Cup. We don't know what wheel size he's going to be using. What do you guys reckon? 27 and a half or 29? Let us know in those comments below. So yet again, another 29 inch wheel downhill platform. This time it's the Norco with that high pivot point with the idler wheel running over the top of that. So really good, a big bump capability, the slight rearward axle path on that. Blenkensop is gonna be riding one of these, which certainly he has one in a size XL out in Croatia at the moment. That is gonna be a monster truck on those big rocks. Just wait and see what he can do. Okay, so obviously we're checking out Greg Minard's very own Santa Cruz V10. That certainly could be a winning 29 this weekend. And of course, it's got that brand new Maxxis tyre on there that we've seen prototypes of all last year. We saw those tyres when we were out at Whistler filming Martin Ashton's video. It's called the Asagai, available in 27.5 and 29 inch, which of course Greg's going to be running. And if you look at the profile on that tyre, she has a lot of similarities with the Mini and DHF and the DHR at the same time and also a bit of high roller thrown in there. So it's no secret that the Santa Cruz Syndicate team are no longer running those NV carbon fibre rims. And we also reported way back on the GMBN Weekly Tech show the fact that Mino was out testing on some unnamed black wheels. He was running the Santa Cruz Reserve carbon rims or at least a very early prototype model. Now there is a lot of concern about the type of rims that people will be running this weekend because it sounds like a real wheel destroyer. Are we going to see a rider on carbon rims in the 29 er world winning this weekend or is it going to have to be back to old school alloy rims? Certainly will be a proving ground and I reckon those tyres may well be on top as well. So yet again another banging 29 inch bike, this time it's from the Common Cell Stable and again this one's got a high pivot design on this, got a linkage in here as well with that idler wheel dragging over the top that effectively makes it pedal like a, a low pivot design. Of course, the thing that's so good about this high pivot design, especially for downhill, it's got slightly rearward axle paths, so really good for smashing through those big rocks. And on the team, of course, there's Remy Tyrion, there's Miriam Nicole, there's a whole bunch of incredible riders out there. They've got probably the most amount of riders on a single platform, actually, in the World Cup at the moment. Another high hitter for the first round of the UCI World Cup. So there we go, there's a whole bunch of really cool 29 inch wheel specific downhill bikes that you're going to see at the forthcoming World Cup this weekend. Let us know what you think of these bikes in the comments down below. And of course, if you want to see a couple more great videos with more tech stuff from Sea Otter, click down here for the first part of the tech and click down here for the Dirt Shed Show and see what other tech we put in there. Of course, as always, click on that globe to subscribe. And if you like the 29ers or you like this video, give us a thumbs up.